As parents, we often reminded our children the importance in following the rules that we gave to them. I would tell them, whenever you do something we asked you not to do, and whenever you don't do something we asked you to do, something will always go wrong. We also share with them that our rules and discipline came from our deep love for them. Well, how do you view the Ten Commandments? Is God a killjoy set on keeping you from enjoyment in this life? The Ten Commandments are actually evidence and proof of the very opposite. God desires for you to enjoy an abundant life that is full of joy, love, and peace. And the only way to have this kind of life is to live according to God's plan and His standards as revealed in the Ten Commandments. Something will always go wrong when we do what these commandments forbid or when we refuse to do what they ask from us. To ignore any of these Ten Commandments is a sure way of living with hurt, emptiness, and pain. This leads us to a difficult truth. Can we do it? As sinners, there is nothing in our reason or strength that can successfully meet the expectations of these Ten Commandments. Seems a bit unfair, doesn't it? God sets a standard called righteousness, yet we can't achieve it? Is God toying with us? Is He setting up an impossible expectation or a foolish pipe dream for this life? No. God, in His love and mercy, has provided a way for us to have this life. Romans 3, 21 and 22 explains, But now, apart from the law, the righteousness of God has been made known, to which the law and the prophets testify. This righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. The good news is that God is gracious and has provided this abundant life through His Son, Jesus, who did fulfill every one of the Ten Commandments. He did what they asked, and He refused to do what they prohibited. He took our unrighteousness to the cross and buried our failures and overcame the penalty of death by rising again. He fills our emptiness, He heals our hurt, and He brings comfort to our pain. There's no one who loves you like Jesus has, like He does, and like He will continue to do in your life. Follow Him to the cross and grave. Trust in Him as He transforms your life and commit to His mission of living life over death. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of life, for truly your standards and your design of life brings joy, love, and peace. It is perfect and it is right. And yet, even though we have broken and not met your standards, you have provided a righteousness and an abundant life through your son, Jesus. Help us to follow Jesus continue to transform our hearts and lives to be more like Jesus and help us to commit to the mission of sharing his love and that abundant life with those who we meet. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.